Hello again everybody, welcome back to another gaming setup and room tour. This time we are on June 3rd of 2014, I can't even remember the date sometimes. You guys can see me in the space, space monkey poster, hi! Hi, I'm waving, hi, thousand subscribers, hi! Hi, okay. So as usual we're going to start on the back wall again, of course we have the Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, I had this, I had this in the uh, last setup video, pretty sweet. Simple frame, makes everything look pretty good. A Space Chimp poster and a Keep Calm and Bamf on poster, uh, both of which are from hu forhumanpeoples.com, which is uh, Philip DeFranco's company and website. The Keep Calm and Bamf on I got for my birthday a year ago, and it's actually signed by him, which is just kind of neat. Uh, moving right along, of course, I have a um, clothes rack for my jackets and stuff, uh, my IHOP hat. I started a lot in the last one. Yes, I work at IHOP. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I do, but I work at IHOP and I have a hat, which means I'm cool. Just kidding. Anybody who works at IHOP obviously only has one leg. So uh, I have a back scratcher right over here. Of course, the walking sticks and stuff, the lightsaber blades. On the back of the door, I have the For Human People's 2014 poster. I've just been kind of marking it off with certain events like. Uh, my best friend's graduation day, uh, Comic Con, asking for time off and work, uh, and basically I've just kind of been marking through the day. So of course we're on June 3rd. It's a Tuesday. It's a lovely day. It's really freaking hot outside. So above the door we have the uh, the drawing again. I'm gonna try and think of something better to put up there because that's it's really kind of you know lost it. Uh, I moved the Minecraft poster to right over here. Um, just in this little corner, I might put another one there. And for once, this act, this corner is actually relatively clean. I redid it and put my lightsabers on the top. Second shelf, I have my trophies. Uh, I have a shell from Florida. I have a dragon. I have a giant piece of amethyst that I've had for a long time. Um, lip gloss, another dragon, and another shell from Florida, uh, as well as my diploma. But the reason I have the dragons is I actually dug them up um, from somewhere godforsaken and they were covered in dust and uh, dragons are supposed to be for good luck and you know in China of course they're for like warding away evil spirits and stuff that's not really why just kind of decoration makes it look look pretty good right underneath I still have the books and stuff I put out some rocks uh, some polished rocks a piece of quartz or two uh, and two of my favorite planes one of which is the P-38 Lightning an old uh, World War II plane some bullet shells Two of the first bullets I've ever fired, uh, and the other plane is the uh, SR-71 Blackbird. Um, it can go amazing speeds of like Mach 3 or Mach 4. Uh, on top of the iPhone 4S box, I actually have a shell from an A-10 Warthog. Now that thing is massive, and it's actually very heavy. Um, if I dropped it on the glass from a few inches, it would probably shatter it. So that's it's massive, it's awesome, whatever. <laughs> on the bottom one. I have a uh, car charger. This you you guys saw this in the last one, except it was by my desk. It's got a light. It's got a compressor. Uh, it's got a jumper. So if my car ever breaks down or my battery doesn't want to start, etc. I got my school bag here, but I'm out of school now, so I don't need that anymore. I'll just let it sit there, and I'll probably take all this crap out of it. Right underneath, I have the guide to software book. I don't actually use. It. It's quite old. It's actually for all like Windows XP and older than that. It's from 2006. And some other school stuff as well as a Spanish-English dictionary. Moving over, I have my fan, which I turned off for the sake of the volume in this video, even if it's going to get really, really hot in here. I have my Winchester uh, headset or earphones so I don't die when I'm shooting, really. I have my Mead High uh, shoulder thing back there. The fedora, you guys will be seeing this tomorrow when I pick all your uh, names out of the hat for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Magnetic dartboard, Mickey Mouse, moving right along. I have the no trespassing sign uh, right on top of the right on the closet door. Uh, and inside the closet there are Nerf guns up the ass. Um, speaking of, I actually have games in here. I just got Watch Dogs and I'm mm, about two and a half missions through. I love it so far. So if you guys want to play this, um, add me on Uplay as the Ninth Divine. Um, unless you downloaded it from like Origin or Steam or something like that, uh, you can still add a, add me as a friend as far as I'm concerned. So I'll put that back. Got some clothes. 
I'll close that. Right underneath I actually have a box uh, for a radius shock mount for the Blue Yeti microphone. I just got that today. Literally, I got it about an hour ago and I didn't install it till now. Um, as you can tell by the packaging, it's quite massive. That's the size of my hand. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I have my drawers here. I have a baseball mitt. Um, on top of here I have the two 24 inch monitor boxes as well as part of the shock mount that came with the arm uh, that you guys may have seen in my Blue Yeti unboxing video that unfortunately did not fit. I have some old motherboards, some old school stuff, etc. My graduation cap up there, class of 2013, thank you very much. Logitech Z506, which will be given away to one lucky person tomorrow. Uh, a minion and a banana, a uh, Duck Dynasty banana. I got those in Florida with my best friend. Um, at you know you know those things where you throw balloons and then you keep having to pay money. Well, I ended up spending uh, spending almost two hundred dollars to get two prizes and a giant blue raccoon for her, which she really enjoyed. And I got a duster because dusting is awesome, and some po postcards, um, as well as some mobile um, speakers. I don't really use anymore because they've kind of been really really crappy recently. With the uh, the headphone jack is actually kind of wearing out. Uh, of course, I have the futon. Uh, on top of the futon is a pop filter. It, it's not there for any particular reason. I was just kind of cleaning up and I ended up throwing it there. Uh, I have work shoes now, a new, you know, the work shoes box. I have my piano under the bed as well. Behind that on the back wall, I have the Game of Thrones poster. And honestly, 100% honestly, I'm seriously considering of taking it down and getting a TV. Because... You can get like 40 whatever inch TVs for, you know, 300 bucks. And I kind of want to put one up there and then I'll just run an HDMI for my computer all the way back and then I can just turn around, throw my feet up on the bed and watch a big movie and have awesome surround sound literally right behind me. So on that back wall I also have those two paintings that I forgot to mention of course. I have a Broncos flag, yes, it's uh, United to Ride, uh, or Time to Ride United in Orange, my bad. And I really like them. The Super Bowl was a complete failure because they set the record for the lowest Super Bowl score ever. But yeah, moving on. Instead of talking about the really crappy donkeys, I mean, I mean Broncos. <clears throat> I mean, I give them respect, but sometimes they just go off the chain, and I don't know how to talk to them. I just don't know. I just don't know. American flag, because America. I got my lamp here, which I'm thinking about moving. I have this lamp faced that way, so it's kind of reflecting. Uh, off the ceiling a little bit. Probably gonna get some more lights for that corner back there so it can give me a little bit more uh, studio lighting because I'm gonna need it. So moving right along, I'm starting to get to my desk. You guys are gonna see this LED light strip. This is called the Super Night. Um, you can find this on Amazon for about 25 bucks. I forgot how many feet it is exactly, but it's completely RGB. Um, you can control it with a remote. You can set it to do whatever the heck you want, really. On top of the desk, I have the little can speaker, which you guys, or one of you guys, is going to get for a prize uh, tomorrow in the giveaway as well. Underneath here, I have a uh, Belkin USB hub, which is just powering some things. That was charging this for a while. Now it's done, so I don't need that anymore. Um, and then I have my iPhone charger, which is kind of sketchy back there. Um, and that's also connecting a Kindle charger, and that's it. So I'll go ahead and keep moving on. Here's the left, the far left speaker, the far left rear speaker for the Z506. Uh, Canon disc burner with the uh, remote for my camera. Uh, I'm probably gonna get a new camera soon too. Maybe not like a DSLR because those are a little too expensive for just a camera. And I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing. So I'll have to, you know, you'll get, you guys will definitely see an unboxing of it whenever I get it. Some DVD uh, minus R's by Memorex. I use all those to burn my videos onto. I have a Kindle Fire here. Oh God, you guys saw that. I have a Kindle Fire here. Uh, if you guys don't know the story behind this, I didn't buy it. I actually won it at my senior prom. At my senior prom after party. Uh, it was kind of very last minute. I walked in and they all, everybody pointed to me and said, oh, there he is. And I was like, oh, me? They're like, yeah, you want a Kindle Fire? I was like, woo, fuck you. Uh, just, just kidding. I was really glad to win that. It was pretty awesome. Uh, my girlfriend made a big deal about it, and she used it to draw a crap ton. Um, of course, she doesn't use it anymore because you guys have figured that out. So, 
Moving right along, I have the uh, four gigs of Crucial Ballistics X right here. Or, I'm sorry, Crucial Ballistics Sport. That looks like an X. I'm stupid. I just took that out of my computer because I just got 16 gigs of Corsa Vengeance. And I might show you guys everything in there uh, in just a second. I have a Snapple because I went to Walmart like five minutes ago. Uh, or before I started this video and really wanted a Snapple. If you guys have seen this uh, fan coaster before, I actually rewired it to a USB cable. I just re-soldered everything and um, basically now it spins and lights up and it's freaking awesome. So I'll go ahead and open up the side panel of the computer real quick and I'll tell you guys the specs. So what I'm running is an Intel i5-3570K with six gigs of RAM and two GTX 760s in SLI in all of their gorgeous beauty. They both have an EVGA backplate, which both reduce the temperature by about three degrees. Uh, they do have the two fans, with, which is uh, EVGA's ACX cooling. I have a one terabyte hard drive and I have a 500 gig hard drive, as well as two blue cathode lights up in the top. Uh, the fans are uh, Corsair SP120s for static pressure, those on the radiator, as well as one, two, three, four Corsair AF120s for airflow, which are one there, one there, one here on the side panel, and one in the back, as well as an NZXT performance fan in the front, which you can kind of see the light of between the hard drive cage. It's being cooled by an H100i, and it's being powered by a CX750M power supply by Corsair as well. So that's pretty sweet. It kicks some serious, serious ass, and I'm not gonna put the side pan on, obviously, um, just for the shits and giggles, I guess. I'll move back to the back wall behind everything before I go on to the desk setup. I have an Intel Pentium dual core. Oh, it's so ancient. It's so ancient, I just have it kind of sitting up there. I tried to polish it as much as possible with some metal polish, and it didn't really work. Uh, up here, I have the Razer Nostromo. For anybody in the giveaway, if you guys win third place, you guys will not be getting a Razer Nostromo. You guys will be getting a Razer Tartarus gamepad instead because it's a newer version and it's much better. And it is in a green color, so I hope you guys don't mind. I unfortunately don't have any control over that. Uh, moving right along, we have the Corsair fan. Uh, this is one of the normal ones that came with the H100i. It's shit. These fans are terrible. They are loud and they sound mechanical and they are terrible. Uh, moving on, we have another NZXT performance fan. I both put them on the wall just to kind of keep up, you know, move that space. I have a Hobbit poster back there. And on the back wall, we have all of the boxes the Corsair M65, the K70, the Steel Series, uh, mouse pad, 1500 um, headset, and all the computer parts the Z77X the 750M, the H100i, all of the fan boxes, the two boxes for the two sets of 8 gigs of RAM, so there's 16 in their total, the i5 box, and the two GTX 760 boxes. Now one of them is a different color than the other, and that is because the one on the bottom in the system is actually a super clocked version. So now we're we'll going ahead and go on to the whole desk itself in all of its amazing, amazing glory, you guys. Um, you guys have you have given me some ex incredible, incredible feedback on this. So, first I'm going to start off with something new. This is the Blue Yeti. This is a premium black edition. This mic is fantastic, okay? This mic is amazing. Uh, of course, um, I actually have this leaning on the desk right now because it is really really heavy as you guys can see. I'll push it up like this just a little bit. Even if it's screwed all the way as I can tighten it, it'll still move down. So I'm probably going to uh, upgrade to a Rode PSA-1 uh, to fix that problem because obviously it's a generic brand. It's a generic, generic branded studio arm so it's not that great um, and I feel like the PSA-1 will definitely be able to hold up this weight as, as at least what I've seen on videos. So, <coughs> excuse me. This is the Blue Radius Shock Mount. It's massive. It's like the size of my face. And of course, I have the Blue Yeti uh, in there. Um, it's amazing. It's got a 10 foot long USB cable, which I have kind of coming from the bottom, just wrapped around this, kind of, you know, sticking back and going straight back to the motherboard. Um, the 
Studio Arm is an AGP Tech. I did an unboxing on this, the Blue Yeti, and that pop filter back there. Uh, the only reason I don't have the pop filter back here yet is because I'm still trying to figure out a way to mount it and have and have it be the most space space efficient, if I can speak English, which apparently I can't. So of course the Blue Yeti has uh, four pattern um, abilities on the back with this dial. You have a gain dial as well, and in the front, of course, you have volume and mute. It's currently muted just for the hell of it. But yes, this mic does sound amazing. You guys will be hearing a lot of it in commentaries and voiceovers and stuff like that. And due to actually due, due to popular uh, demand, you guys are actually going to be seeing a PC build video very very soon. I'm building a PC for uh, my my parents because their current one is crap. So I'm going to be doing that for them. It's not going to be a gaming PC. It's just going to be how to build how to build a PC in general. Uh, it's going to be pretty short. Um, there might be some parts that I want to speed up and maybe some parts that I don't want to, but uh, I'll definitely plan out how I'm going to do that when all the parts get here, uh, and that might be in the next few weeks. So, um, moving on, actually there was a comment about my computer asking uh, for a reverse engineering video, and I clarified, and they said, could you take it apart? Uh, like piece by piece and then put it back together maybe. I am considering that. Um, I am going to need more free time to do that because it will take quite a while. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about that idea. Um, I'll give a shout out in the description to whoever mentioned that comment. I don't have the name uh, off the top of my head. But that seems like a good idea to me. I'll see what, I mean it's a mess of cable management. But uh, we'll figure something out and we'll see where that goes from there. Moving on, I have the two 24-inch uh, LG monitors. These are the 24EN43s. And if you're looking on the box, it's the 24EN43V-B. Uh, wow, I'm surprised I said that correctly. Try saying that five times fast. So they're amazing monitors. I'm thinking about getting a third one if I get uh, another extension for my desk and put it where the mini fridge and stuff is at. Uh, it might happen. It might not. So I'm still kind of on the edge about it. I'll go ahead and wake these babies up here. They are amazing. They're super slim. They go off of uh, very, very slim energy cables, or power cables, I'm sorry. They are Energy Star, that's what I was trying to say. And they're great. I love them. They're not too glossy. Full 1080p HD. Great for gaming. I have no complaints whatsoever. On top we have a Logitech C310 uh, webcam. It records and streams in 720p. Probably going to upgrade to a 1080p one that with autofocus or something like that. So my streaming, if I start to stream with video, then it might be a little better uh, quality. Um, a few things I missed on the desk. Of course, I have a pen here. I have a little ceramic thing that I actually did not make in ceramics class in high school. It was actually left over uh, and the ceramics teacher let me take it home. So I have some, uh, some thumb drives, some SD cards in there, simple stuff. I have that Kingston card reader over there, which is really, really nice. USB 3.0, works flawlessly. Uh, it's compact flash, micro SD, you know, micro SDXC. Uh, for, with compatibility for the micro SD, SDHC, and SDXC. Wow, cards. Um, and if not, I already said uh, compact flash. So that's really great. Moving on, we have the middle speaker of the Logitech Z506 uh, 5.1 sound sound system. Sound sound system. I don't know English. Surround sound system. It's great. It's amazing. It it really really does everything. And the subwoofer down below uh, definitely definitely helps out with that. Moving further uh, to the front of the desk, we have the Corsair K70. This is the model with brushed um, aluminum, and it is a model with the Cherry MX Blue key switches. So you can hear the clicky clickiness. I love it. It's a, it's so awesome. It's so great. And if you're wondering where I got this keyboard, I got this keyboard from NCIX.com. Um, it was about $130. And unfortunately, I cannot find it anywhere anymore. So I don't know what's up with that, but I cannot find it anywhere anymore. Ex especially this particular model with the blue switches and the blue backlight. Uh, it really, really sucks. But on the bright side, Corsair just announced literally one day ago 
about their Corsair K70 and Corsair K95 RGB mechanical keyboards. They are fully RGB, literally every single key on it has an RGB LED that is completely software controlled. Uh, it comes in the K70 and then the K95 with the 18 programmable G keys on the left side. Uh, I might upgrade, depends on how much they sell for, uh, but I might upgrade and ju that's just because it would be really, really cool to be able to literally change any key to any color you want. I, I believe there are 16.8 million, million, 16.8 million possibilities that you could do. Moving on to the left, we have the Corsair M65 gaming mouse. Um, I've had some problems with it recently. I let you guys know that uh, it stopped working in game sometimes, and all I had to do was that uh, for that was go onto Corsair's website and update the firmware. So that was not a problem at all. Uh, and now it's stopped doing that from from that point on. I have the Still Series Mini QCK mouse pad, as well as the far right speaker, the Cosmos uh, headset stand. I got this off of Amazon. I can't find it anymore. This particular model I cannot find. I did find Cosmos, so Cosmos is still around, but this exact one, I can't find it anywhere. I'm sorry about that, guys. And then, of course, I have the Corsair Vegas 1500 headset on there with the uh, USB right here. Oh, I'm sorry, right here. And on top of that, I have the uh, remote for the the uh, the 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 lighting system. Yeah, that's it. So here we go. I'll go ahead and change it. You can change it to green. You can change it to pink or purple or blue or yellow that's not really appealing is it you can change it to orange you can change it to red you can change it to white and I like the white because it really kind of it brightens up the room um, but you can change it to like light blue and you can make it do flashing you can make it cycle through things quickly you can make it flash faster you can make it flash between a bunch of different colors you can make it fade between colors the fades really trippy so I would not recommend doing any drugs while being in any room with these or else you will hallucinate I'm just kidding I don't know what's gonna happen so moving on to further uh, I should have gotten this in the very beginning but I have some strawberry waffles because again I went to Walmart I have my IHOP tag BAM I got a name tag yeah I've had it for a while uh, old glasses frames and my mini fridge I put the two EVGA enthusiast built uh, decals on my mini fridge because I wanted to I originally had the black one on there but I said screw it I'll put the white one on there too uh, it's a black and decker mini fridge it's probably about 1.7 square feet or something something like that on the inside I have lots of Arizona tea well I have some sweet tea and then I have some half and half uh, Arnold Palmer which is amazing and here I have some Klondike bars, which are also very good. Um, more Arnold Palmer's, Kit Kat Minis, and some cream cheese. And the cream cheese is there for this reason. Well, first of all, this is my food drawer. This is all food in here. I have turkey jerky. I have ruffles. I have um, munchies, the cheese mix of munchies. I have a few sour straws from a friend. Swiss rolls here. There's another Swiss rolls box back there. Doritos, uh, there's some teriyaki beef jerky under there, and then the next drawer down has my lonesome lonesome bagels with my BB gun and my uh, my um, cleaner. So I have BB's uh, portable DVD player, BB gun magazine, um, some sil uh, sterling silver rings in that cigar box. Um, I'll show you guys this real quick. Me and my friend um, actually got these off of eBay. Uh, they were about 17 bucks. We got them a year ago. He got one and I got one. Of course he got the Decepticons but I got the Autobot. It is a Transformers ring. Um, it's one size larger than I can actually fit on my finger um, but it's pretty pretty legit. It's stainless steel with a very very nice coating. Uh, doesn't I haven't I haven't worn it too much um, but I'll probably I'll probably wear it to the uh, premiere of Transformers 4 if I end up going. I might. I'm still thinking about it, but it uh, depends on if I'm working the next day or what. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. I got Autobots. He got Decepticons. It came in this little nice box. If you probably search Transformers Ring on eBay, it'll probably show up. Again, it was about 17 bucks. Um, I don't know exactly what the shipping was. 
And all the way over here, we have the far right uh, speaker with the surround sound system, and of course the trash can. So I don't think I miss very much besides maybe this thing right under my desk over here. Uh, it just has some cleaner spray, some Sharpies, a lockbox, um, those which uh, were required to do a bunch of the stuff with the Blue Yeti and make sure everything was tight. Uh, and here I have all tech stuff, essentially. So I have old fans in here, all five of my old fans. I have a Blue Yeti thing, a mini auxiliary cord. Uh, this is the XLR cable that came with the, um, the Blue Yeti, which I actually cut because I had to get it out of here because I didn't have a use for it. Uh, and these are relatively cheap, probably about 25, maybe 30 bucks there. It's cut right there. Uh, so if I ever need to get another one, if I upgrade to like the Yeti Pro or something, then uh, well, that one comes with one anyways. So thank you guys um, for watching. Essentially, I do have the uh, Skull Candy Hesh 2s over here as well. Um, that's pretty much it. So uh, as my chair, I also have the uh, Office Max. Uh, in the last video, I, I skipped the letter. This is the Fausto 2. It's F-A-U-S-T-O 2. Uh, it's very, very nice. It's leather, um, and I got a warranty on it. So if I if it tears or anything, I think it's covered for about a year. I think I'm not exactly I'm not exactly 100% sure. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is my gaming setup and room tour for June of 2014. Look forward to more videos this month and more videos next month, especially this one for next month. And there might be a new keyboard or something like that, and, and we'll get there. Uh, definitely probably going to get another studio arm because that one's not really doing it too well over there. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. You have one day or a few hours left to enter the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, so do it as soon as possible, and we will see those three winners uh, selected out of the hat tomorrow sometime in the afternoon. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, keep calm and watch The Ninth Divine.